I'm Jimmy Fields from Turn Me Out Sales. We're aboard the 2013 57 Spencer, one of our offerings we have for sale. This boat was built by one of the top tournament teams on the circuit. It boasts a ride, fuel economy, and sexiness. At 1800 RPMs, it burns 67 gallons an hour at 30 knots. Holds 1500 gallons of fuel and 250 gallons of water. It has a Palm Beach Towers tower with all the latest technology, LED spreaders, LED recessed lighting in the hard top, RUP riggers. As we enter the bridge area, as you can see, a very clean, uncluttered area, which I like. Uh, we have all the latest and greatest electronics from Garmin, the 7215 touchscreen GPS map, uh, two 15-inch monitors, a 12-inch monitor, all redundant, and uh, able to play the, uh, the sounder, the plotter, the radar uh, to, of your choice. Single lever cat controls, trolling valve, single lever sink, over here under this little hatch. Uh, again, you know, very clean layout. Uh, you have the command mics, which allows you to listen to the VHF speakers, change channels throughout here, or these standard Horizon uh, VHFs. Uh, remote water maker start down there. Uh, AP28 autopilot, ACR spotlight, and digital uh, cat controls. You have a release marine single uh, captain's chair, uh, also the, the latest and greatest modern chair. Recessed in the Palm Beach Towers hardtop, you'll find US 15 24 volt super My Epoch teaser reels. Forward of the helm station, we have strata glass enclosure, large seating area on both sides, uh, capability of rod storage underneath here, uh, tackle storage, life jack storage underneath here. Uh, as you enter the brow here, we have freshwater wash down, uh, life jacket storage as well, life raft, uh, whatever you need. Uh, non skid decking non-skid Palm Beach Towers hardtop with recessed lighting. In the cockpit, cockpit area, this is a fisherman's dream. Uh, teak sole, teak cover boards with teak combing, eight rod holders, transom fish box, and the latest release marine fighting chair with rocket launcher. Over here we have the mezzanine, which is everybody's favorite. A uh, lot of storage, a lot of seating, under the mezzanine seating here, we have a large, uh, what I call rod locker, storage area, whatever you really want to make it. Uh, under the mezzanine here, we have three sections. Uh, you can call either drink box, bait box, or whatever you like, which, is, which I like is versatile. Uh, they're non-refrigerated, but you can dump ice and make it uh, whatever you really want to make it. Uh, second one, the same deal. Uh, behind the ladder. Over here, we have the third one. Once again, for baits, uh, drink box, or just storage, whatever you may have it. Up here we have the, uh, where the Eskimo ice maker dumps in. It's very deep, goes all the way into the toe kick, and it, uh, it's where you basically can shovel the ice and disperse it to wherever you want. Um, here we have the engine room access. Here we are on the engine room of the 2013 57 Spencer, powered by C18 1000 horsepower Caterpillar engines with two years extended warranty and only 650 hours. Easily pushes the boat at 30 knots, 1800, only 67 gallons an hour, with a top end speed of 38 and a half knots. Folks, this engine room is clutter free, built by one of the most knowledgeable captains in the business. Uh, easy access to almost everything. Uh, 16 kW Northern Lights generator with only 662 hours. Uh, pumps are easily placed for access. Uh, water pump, fuel transfer system, which transfers the fuel forward and aft. Uh, as you can see, all the rake oil, the system, the filters are easy to get to. It boasts a spare set of Veeam wheels with uh, holders down here to keep them from uh, rattling around. Engine room's painted out, all gripped out. Uh, engine room cameras, LED lighting, basically a, uh, a captain's dream. Delta T Mist Eliminator System, Dometic Eskimo Ice Maker, 16 kW generator, Aquamedic. Sea Recovery Water Maker, Water Maker High Pressure Pump, Dual Battery Chargers, and Veeam Wheels. As you're looking aft into the Lazarette access area, you have the manual fuel gauges, port and starboard. There's no Lazarette access hatch in the cockpit, keeping this area dry and clean of any salt. Able to keep your rods, gaff, tuppers full of filters, and easy maintenance.
And as you go up the mezzanine here, you got entrance to the main salon. As we enter the main salon of this 57 Spencer, one of the high points I think about the boat is, is a spacious area here. Uh, as you know, you know, long trips, fishing, traveling, uh, a lot of boats there's never enough seating, not, never enough uh, places for anybody to sit down, lay down. Uh, as you can see, you got the L-shaped seating to starboard side, uh, also the L shape, or I'm sorry, the seating on the left side, plenty of places. Also, uh, under these uh, leather Mark Brambrunt couches, um, you have storage, storage access, access all the way around. Uh, it can be rod storage, uh, food storage, tackle storage, uh, plenty of storage on this uh, 57 Spencer. Now, the other thing is that the uh, beautiful teak balancing, the air conditioning dumps over top of the balance on both sides of the boat, which gives it an even, evenly spaced, uh, so you don't get the cool and hot spots throughout the boat. Uh, the LED lighting, which uh, is very cool as well, doesn't uh, you know make it make it very hot inside. Uh, you know the Corian countertop throughout, the light Corian countertop with the uh, the tans make it really a, a neutral boat, which um, I like for anybody if uh, they come in and want to dress the boat up or dress it down. You can do either way. Uh, the Amtico veneer, which is I think is very good. Uh, you know, as an expo captain, I can tell you a lot of scratches occur on the teak and stuff. Well, this stuff doesn't scratch at all. Uh, for, you know, the rod butts, rings, uh, buttons on your jeans, anything that uh, the captain can tell you, it's a nightmare. Um, as you enter the dinette, once again, a Corian countertop, L-shaped seating, enough to seat four people comfortably at dinner. Uh, storage underneath as well, uh, which is another high point. And um, also the centrally located Samsung 42-inch plasma TV, which uh, can be viewed from anywhere in the salon. But we also have uh, the company's 42-inch plasma TV is a uh, satellite television. With the M7 sat dome which allows you to view television beyond the Bahamas, a larger footprint than the M5 which is an upgrade and also the uh, Bose surround sound uh, throughout the whole boat controlled in each stateroom. As you can see the galley area very spacious uh, you have sub-zero drawers, two refrigerators, two freezers, ice maker here, uh, Corian countertop here, uh, storage uh, another great attribute of the galley area uh, storage here for condiments, uh, storage here, four sets of drawers for uh, silverware, uh, cabinets here, deep, very deep cabinets with the teak bull nosing, so stuff doesn't slide off, uh, microwave convection, uh, two burner cooktop, um, lighting as well, dimmer lighting throughout the whole salon and galley area. Um, as we enter the uh, companionway, as you, as you can see in the companionway area, we have a very large companionway bunk to port side. A little storage spot up there, uh, plenty of headroom, and uh, plenty of length. Uh, what I think one of the best attributes of this boat in this area is the uh, freezer space underneath. Uh, if you lift this bunk up, it's on uh, actuated gas shocks, and there's two freezers here, and actually one over here. And the best part about that is, uh, you know, if you're traveling and you want to carry bait and food, you don't have to mix the bait and food. You can have you know, two freezers for uh, bait and you can have one for your food, uh, which is very nice. Uh, a great attribute of this Spencer boat. As you enter the master stateroom to starboard, master stateroom, we have a large double bed with a single bed aloft, padded walls throughout, uh, Toshiba plasma TV, uh, four bank of drawers and a hanging closet, uh, all cedar lined. In the headliner, we have access to the brow, uh, allows for more storage and access to all the lighting and access to the master head. Under the master bed, we have a very large actuated storage area. In the master head, we have a Corian countertop, mirrored vanity, Antico flooring, a freshwater head system, rare tan, and a large shower with teak door access. Forward stateroom boasts two large bunks, one upper double sized bunk, a single below, shelving to the port side, Omar hatch, LED lighting, and Bose surround sound. On the port side, in the companionway, forward of the companionway bunk, we have the day head, Corian countertop, padded walls throughout, mirrored vanity, freshwater rare tan head system, and Antico flooring. Thank you.